Hello, it's Tate from Nanjing Marketing Group. I just wanted to share with you some differences between Google and Baidu from a user's perspective. Uh, I think that in a lot of ways they are actually pretty similar, you know? So I'm not really going to sensationalize this or anything. Uh, this, is, this video is for marketers, Western marketers that want to understand how to use Baidu for marketing in China. So I'm just going to give you an accurate overview here. Here's my screen, and I've already pulled up a few different searches for us to check out. So in this first one, what I'm checking for is Dubai company registration. Okay, now I've included that as a keyword. It's not really in a sentence format. And then what I see here first is a few ads. One, two, three ads, and they're clearly marked as ads, and the background is a little bit... Um, a little bit colorized, has a bit of a background color there. I think most people can notice that these are ads. And then what we have is um, some an article from Sohu, another one from Sohu down here, and a, a Jihu answer. Jihu is like the core of China. It'll show up in search results a lot. And these type of articles from the big news portals, these will show up in search results on Baidu a lot too. And number four, another Jihu post and there's an image along with it. You'll notice that in Baidu search results, there are a lot of images that show up. This one's from Baidu Jodal, that's uh, Baidu's answers, like Yahoo Answers. And then there's a lot of videos here. The videos are coming from Yoku, from Weibo, from several other different platforms. But here's a funny uh, website address all numbers. That's not really uncommon in China, but that's just a, um, a website for company registrations, not just for Dubai, but other too. And some news that I actually don't think is very related. A map and another ad at the bottom here. Let's take a look at Google's for the same search query. All right, so you know, to sum this up, what I'm seeing on Google here is I do see some of the same places. I see that Jahu show up a lot in Google, not just on this search result page, but I see that uh, pretty often. And um, But something different here is the individual websites that are coming up. So not the big portals, but the individual kind of websites are all different. This this Healy Consultants and dbychina.com and all of these they're all different than the ones we see on the Baidu results page. That's also not really uncommon. Um, one of the reasons for this is that uh, I think it's easier to start ranking on Google right away if you have a good website, good keywords, good content on it. On Baidu, it's possible to do it too, but it's going to take longer and it might take more content, uh, a lot of fresh content posted over a longer period of time. Let's switch it up to another search query here. I'm going to look at Google first this time for um, uh, skiing machines. Okay, what do you call that in English? Uh, well, it's hua xiu ji in, in Chinese. It's the uh, machines that you ski on like in your house. And Google shows a lot of images up top and then videos. Google's, Google shows videos from YouTube, of course, which Baidu doesn't because YouTube is blocked in China. Uh, but Google will also show videos from the Chinese platforms. Like this one is uh, Billy Billy video platform in China. More Jihu. Now we have some Chinese e-commerce platforms. Taobao, Taobao, JD, JD. Um, uh, Xiaohongshu as well. Uh, and a, uh, a website that's about this topic. Let's check what Baidu has for that. Baidu also puts a lot of images up top, but um, all right. So Baidu happened to show these um, product listing ads here. Now this is a, a B2B platform of Baidu's actually. So, you know, Baidu might choose to show a lot of different types of content within the search results and so does Google. I, I don't have stats on um, how often Baidu would show this one or would show another type, but I just do expect to see a lot of variety in the search results, you know. Uh, so 10 years ago, it might be that in Google search results, we would expect to see 
uh, in Google and Baidu, we would expect to see a lot of standard search results with um, text and a heading and a description, you know. And nowadays, there's all sorts of different content that will show up on both the search engines. They also have uh, e-commerce here and another uh, article from Sohu and an entry for Baidu Baiku. So that is the equivalent of uh, Wikipedia in China. Let's check another one. So in this case, I searched for a question and I searched for, um, I'm asking if the skiing machines you use in your house are it, uh, the same as skiing outside. Okay. And on Google, it will show a specific post about this on Jihu. If I click, it'll take me to the answer on Jihu. And Baidu actually shows the same thing. It's not exactly the same result. Instead of taking us to the answer on Jihu, it takes us to the question. But it's pretty similar, you know. And if I look through Baidu search results now, um, it will show a bunch of content that is related. It's not the exact same question, but it's similar, you know. So here is um, like, what are the actual differences between uh, skiing on an indoor machine and, and skiing outside? Or it doesn't say skiing outside, but it says real skiing, okay? And then a bunch of other content on here is, is similar. Same with Google. So in this case, I would say both Google and Baidu did a good job of understanding what that uh, search query was about. Just anecdotally, if I think if I were to search a lot of different questions and complex questions, I think Google would probably do a better job overall of, of turning up relevant content. Um, but Baidu is uh, better than it used to be. All right, a couple more here, and these ones are getting a bit simpler. So here I have a search for Tom Cruise. Google will pull up the search results and it will pull up this, um, these statistics and basic information about Tom Cruise too from the knowledge graph. Baidu also does something a little bit similar, although it's, it's arranged the page differently. It still has some of the same elements. Back to the Google one here. Google has a, a lot of different elements here. So they have what people ask, top stories, videos, um, related people, profiles, and Baidu has most of this content on there as well. Of course, I think one of the notal, notable absences here is that it's not going to list all of Tom Cruise's official profiles because most of those are blocked in, in China anyways. Here's uh, something that's pretty different. Let's search for something that is politically charged. Uh, so here on Google image search, I search, I search for Tiananmen Square. And a lot of the images here are of the tanks from the Tiananmen Square massacre. A lot of them about that. And then, and then we have some neutral content too as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, really a lot about 20 Tiananmen Square protests on Baidu. Uh, oh, so let's check the image search there. And note that in both of these, I'm just searching for um, Tiananmen Square. I didn't search for a specific event, just the location. But I'm looking at the image search. Um, this one, uh, all right, so it's all just content about Tiananmen Square nowadays. It's uh, it's for travel, maybe maybe a bit politically related, but not for a specific event. I've got fireworks, all right? So is this a difference between Google and Baidu? Um, not quite so simple. Let's take a look at the search for the Tiananmen Square in Chinese on Google. So if I search for Tiananmen Square in Chinese on Google, I get content that's actually pretty similar to what's on, on Baidu. Sometimes I like to do these searches on, on images if I'm learning a new word or learning about an event or learning uh, how people think about things. Because when if I search for it in English on Google and in Chinese on Google, I can, I can get a, just a, an idea of how people are using the, the language because the most popular results are going to, are going to show up top. Right. 
But overall, um, you know, Google and Baidu, they're both search engines and they're both going to sure show a variety of results on there. And we use them a bit different for marketing. Um, the main differences are, for one, it might not be so easy to start ranking a small website on Baidu quite quickly as it would be on Google, uh, but it is still use, easy to rank on the different platforms that show up high in Baidu. You know? So if you want to learn more about those platforms, uh, we have more in the other videos on our YouTube. We talk about Juhu, we talk about Baidu, Baika, and a lot of different um, marketing concepts. We talk about on Chinese, on-site Chinese SEO and many other things. So yeah, if you want to learn more about this, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, Google and Baidu search results too. And um, check out our China Marketing 101 page on our website. The link is down there too. Bye.